We are doing so much work these days on co-pilot agents and AI agents. And Danny, he put together this really, really awesome day in the life of financial services. <laughs> Here's the demo flow. We are next gen investments. And what's happening is there's a customer called Lily. Lily has been calling on the phone and having conversations that have been recorded and transcribed by Copilot. She's been asking about like making changes to her investments. She sent an email, Lily, to a junior associate, which is Danny. Danny is kind of a new hire. I'm a new hire. Um, I'm a, a junior or associate financial advisor, and I'm leveraging the power of my financial advisor pro agent. A few things here to show you. Um, you don't need to be, or I don't need to be a financial, I mean, a, a prompt engineer. Uh, the agent already comes with predefined prompts. So the first thing I need to understand is what's the latest uh, in, in terms of what's the latest from our customer. And then I'm going to change here the name. Lily is my customer and here's her, her account number in our organization. So Copilot Co Co knows now it's a smart enough, my agent, to go to places inside our work data, connectors, et cetera, to pull the latest, everything that, that we know about Lily in terms of what's the latest. So I'm going to let her run. And this is all I need to do, input the name, let my financial advisor pro come up with an analysis of everything what's going on with Lily. And in this case said, okay, uh, looks like she had an income increase right here. Um, she purchased a house in the past, 3.5% interest rate, which is awesome. Family expansion. Uh, she's having a she's gonna have a son or child soon. And then investment interest. Lily's interested in diversifying her investment into stocks, mutual funds and real estate, particularly in the technology and renewable energy sectors. Great. So now I know, we know exactly what's going on. Right now, what I'm going to do is, since my manager, Sherving, wants me to create a proposal for customer, I'm going to start editing in pages. So if you think about pages in Copilot, this is basically a new canvas for collaboration. I'm using the responses created by Copilot using generative AI and in smart sources of information. And I'm gonna be adding those responses into a document, which is what you can see on the right-hand side here. Again, it's gonna leverage the sensitivity labels where this response came from. It's gonna start adding this in a loop component that mm -hmm. I can start using. So now I'm gonna go back and say view prompts, and now I'm gonna say, okay, I know, and because Shervin told me, my manager, that Lily's getting a proposal from a competitor. That competitor is Contoso LTD. So I have another prompt here that says, uh, provide a compete analysis for our current next-gen investment portfolio with competitor. And I'm just gonna type the name of the competitor, Contoso LTD, and let it run. I didn't have to write the prompt. I'm just using a prompt that's already there in my agent. And I'm gonna have a side-by-side -side comparison between us and our competitor. Now, it literally takes less than 10 seconds. Copilot knows where to go, creates a very nice table comparing our index funds with our, our, our competitor index funds. And it offers me the sections that I ask, expense ratio, performance, and annual gains. And there's also a column here that says explanation. Both portfolios have similar expense ratios. Next gen focuses on the stability and tech growth, which is what she asked us in that conversation. She's interested in the technology um, index funds. While Contoso emphasizes in emerging markets, bingo, this is a good win for us. Then there's a detailed comparison, extent, expense ratio, why we're better than the competitor, performance, side by side, annual gains, side by side, wonderful. I didn't have to make a marketing compete analysis. I can go with this. I'm gonna click on editing pages and take a, and just pay attention to what happens on the right side of the screen. So I'm gonna see clicking and edit pages. And now the second section about um, you remember the first section that I added, the current status? There we go, mm -hmm. it's there. And now I added a new section about compete analysis. Here's the tape, wonderful. And here's the explanation. Everything in the canvas, everything in the, in the loop component. Now, the last thing I wanna do as a junior advisor is to go, go back again into view prompts and click on, this is where, <laughs> this is where kind of the money goes when it comes to you as an organization showing something to your customer. High Financial Advisor Pro 
can you help me recommend the best investment portfolio for customer name? Lily with the customer ID based in our next gen index funds overview. And then I said, provide the results of the options in the table with a column explaining why this option was selected. Make sure to rank the offers from the most suitable to less suitable to the customer base under current situation. I'm going to hit enter here. Boom. And again, we can count it. It's going to take less than 10 seconds. We'll go find an information for me and do exactly as I said, create a table. Offer our, our current investment portfolio. Tell me why you're putting this on the top and, and put this on the table. So I'm offering her five different, five different index funds. You can see that the rank is number one. This is the one that the first one we should offer, which is the Alpha Stability Index Fund. And there's a description, this expense ratio, annual gains, and this is why. Ideal for lose preference for low risk investments. Mm -hmm. I did not ask in the prompt, make sure you rank for low risk investments as a first off. I did not ask that. This is contextual understanding and vector search technology. Copilot knows that Lily asked specifically for low investment risk. She's having a kid. She just purchased a house. She wants to be conserved. Creates a table, put them organized here. There's a reason for that selection. There's annual gains, expense ratio, description, fund name rank, and there's a whole full analysis here that you can read, validate, understand, good to go. Um, beautiful. Again, I'm going to click on edit pages, take a look at the right hand side of the screen. That piece of information will get added into my document here. Wonderful. Right. This is getting shape and it's looking like a very nice proposal that we can send to our customer, but we're not going to do that just yet. Well, Danny, I just want to say huh? as your manager, you are an amazing junior agent. I mean, <laughs> look, look, <laughs> look at this body of work that, you know, yes. you're just a new hire into the company and because of these tools, you're able to yes. hit the ground running and produce incredible and very detailed analysis, right? And just to kind of summarize, what you did was, first you did a discovery of what the customer's ask was, right? And it was that was the one prompt that you just clicked on from the agent and it, it, you know, it went and did all the hard work for you. Two, you did a compete analysis, because yes. that's what the customer was saying. They were comparing, you know, our funds with somebody else's. And then three, you right. asked for like, what are the funds that, we can recommend based on the portfolio that we have. So those three things were basically just prompt that you clicked on and Copilot did all the heavy lifting and you put it inside yeah. pages and you documented it. So, I mean, incredible work. And this is the power of AI agents. And there are different ways to see the value here. One, you have a new hire uh, that's learning and understanding how this works. They're going to get up to speed quickly. They can understand how the business works. They can understand about all these terms. And I don't know if you noticed that the sensitivity label change from general mm -hmm. when I run the first prompt to confidential Microsoft Extended. Why? Well, that's because one of the responses that I got from Copilot came from confidential documentation. As soon as this information comes, by the way, this is a demo. This is not really confidential information, but the point here is. <laughs> yeah. If the responses from Microsoft, from your prom come from confidential information is because one, you had access to that information. Otherwise, Copilot would never give you the answer. One, two, as soon as I added that piece of the response into my collaboration canvas, which is called pages, the sensitivity label of my pages changed right away from general to confidential. So now that I'm ready with my proposal, I'm going to share this with my manager for approval, for review before we share with the customer, right? With Lily. So I'm going to click share and I'm going to say copy component. I'm going to click in settings and I'm going to people you choose and I'm going to send this to Sherman. He's my manager. So there we go. Click on it and apply. Okay, so now that I have shared my loop component with, with Sherving so we can start collaborating in, in the final proposal, let me show you how that looks like in the web just because we have more real estate to work with. I can see that my manager, Sherving, is now part of the proposal. I can see that he's in. As you can see that he's moving the mouse. He's moving around the document. He's making changes. Can we add a table? Okay, great. So he's actually asking me to do a few things here and there. If you also notice, 
on my screen, I can click on Copilot and then start rewriting these pieces of this information with Copilot. I can make changes. I do want to ask Sherving, since he talked to Lily about, I want to ask about this particular section about family expansion. So I'm going to create a comment here and I'm going to ask Sherving, I'm going to tag Sherving, um, please, please confirm this is accurate. My manager's coming here. He says it's looking great. Finally, Sherwin thinks that this is a great document. Uh, he's going to prove it to me. So then we're ready to, there you go. I got a boost from my manager. It's wonderful. So that like, so this is the document that we're going to be presenting to, to our customer. The next thing I want to do now is I'm going to go here and I'm going to print and, and PDF export. I'm going to create a PDF document out of this particular loop component that has all the information coming from Copilot, as you can see. You can make all the changes that you want. I'm going to go here and print this document. Finally, I want to show you how you can create a PowerPoint deck that you're going to be presenting to your customer using Copilot in PowerPoint. So I'm going to use a predefined, pre-approved uh, template. This is the one from Microsoft 365. So I'm going to go click here. This is a, a template, as you can see, fonts and colors are all there. And I'm going to click on Copilot and I'm going to go into the narrative builder. Copilot here, make a representation about this particular file. Again, this is the Lily Valdez customer proposal and I'm going to run it. And there are different sections. It created a section for the summary of the latest communications, key points from the meeting, investment interests, comparison with Conto. So fantastic. It's covering everything. Let Copilot generate the slides. So finally, once I have this PowerPoint, which is ready to go, yeah. Um, I'm able to schedule a call with the customer lady and come up with a proposal. So she's going to see a folder, a PowerPoint that has speaker notes to help you present that information. There's an agenda. There's a current status where she is today. Investment interest. This is what she's looking for. What about the income increase, particular real estate purchase and all the things that we collected from um, our particular conversation. We're now ready to go. Again, in a minute of minutes. This is where Copilot and Generative AI can really help you boost productivity and customer satisfaction. Congratulations. You know, I'm gonna give you more of a workload now. Like if you can bang out these in like 10 minutes, you need to work harder. <laughs> so mm -hmm. you're too efficient. <laughs> and then yes, that's right. So I need a raise right now. I I, I yeah. wouldn't mind. And by, and by the way, Danny, why don't we show like this agent? that you created, you know, like now that we've showed this demo, maybe just a sneak peek into the agent itself. So when, whenever you get a Copilot, Microsoft 365 Copilot license, it within Copilot chat, you can see where it says create an agent. I'm going to go here to create an agent. And then finally, I'm going to go over here, view all my agents. So I'm going to show you the financial advisor pro. I'm going to edit so you can see how this was created. Again, it's a low code, no code. You can see that it's using a lighter version of Copilot Studio in the back end. Mm -hmm. I'm able to add an icon to it or an avatar, name, description. There's uh, some instructions here. And here's the key, right? This is probably the most important thing about this Copilot agent is the knowledge. This is where I can start at telling my Copilot agent, these are the things that you need to go to pull data for my my purpose right in this case i have a sharepoint site we, we, i call it fsi demo it can be any sharepoint site in your organization you can enable the web access is that's what you want to do and then here's where you can start adding connectors these are what we call extensibility options connecting to a service now instance maybe connecting to a wiki page connecting to an sql database connecting to whatever you want again sky's the limit if there's an yeah. api we can get there so Danny, thank you very much, man. This this was amazing. This was awesome. You are probably you are gonna get a raise. I'll tell you that much because you know even though you <laughs> just got hired in the company as my junior financial advisor, you're doing such great work that you know yeah. I can't help but promote you right away. Right. right. So Good. Good. you've done fantastic work. Uh, this was great. a great demo. Great usage of AI and copilot and agents. So thanks again, and uh, I'll leave the last words with you as well. No, no, I want to thank you for the opportunity to come here, join your channel and explain, kind of help 
uh, your community uh, understand and learn more about Copilot. You have a great community of users, so uh, we want them to learn more, understand more about this. Reach out to your Microsoft representative if you want to learn more. Uh, what we show you today is a financial services use case, which is what I do kind of on a daily basis, but sky's the limit here. Like you can do anything, everything you want. And with the cut, what's coming next now is autonomous agents, which I know Sherving and I are working on something internally at Microsoft too. Yeah. To, to help I know. With that. And, and I think on that point, and you know, you're wearing such a cool hat that I got to put my co-pilot hat on too, you know, I can't, I can't be out, outdone <laughs> with that <laughs> cool hat. So I was just going to say that there is so much more to come. You know, we're just scratching the surface here. So whether it's agents that are using connectors and APIs or autonomous agents that have triggers that are automatically being used based on emails or like documents or new users being added, they're just kind of running in the background. We're going to be building these things and doing more content for you all. So if you are interested in anything specific, let us know. But Danny, again, man, thanks so no. much. And you like the no. hat? <laughs> I, I like it. You should send me one of those. I don't have that. Well, I got, I do have a bottle, but oh, you know what? The, the bottle. Maybe yeah. I'll trade you for the bottle, man. Mob, well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Danny. Thanks. Thanks, man. everybody. Take care. Right. Bye. Bye.